92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue. It is a Friday morning, Sue. And of course, February is National Heart Month. Joining us right now is Dr. Matthew Sabolt, a cardiologist with Hackensack Meridian Health's Cardiovascular Network. Good morning, doctor, and welcome in today. Hi. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. So, How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. It is National Heart Month, February. Of course, we've been talking about this. It's much more than just Valentine's Day. We're talking about the real heart, Sue, not just those chocolate ones. Mm -hmm. Why, doctor, should listeners take it serious, their heart, not just, you know, now during heart month, but year round? Well, I'm really glad that uh, we have this month to draw attention to this epidemic that faces mostly everybody in the world. But most importantly, heart disease and cardiovascular disease uh, doesn't discriminate. It can affect anybody at any age, any month, any time of the year. And it's very important to uh, recognize that and recognize that it's not about taking a pill a day and seeing a doctor once a year, but it's really a lifestyle that you pursue your whole life and try and be your best. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but, you know, they bring up the point that a lot of times when people hear the you know term heart disease, first thing that comes to their mind is older men. Uh, do you find that to be true or can that myth be debunked? I think it's completely debunked. And uh, unfortunately, women are at a real disadvantage. Um, there's a preconceived notion that it is a disease of men and mm. only men get heart attacks, men get chest pain. But that's just not true, and women can be affected in the same way. And, in fact, they're predisposed to some unique heart conditions that men aren't predisposed to. And um, a lot of people can have symptoms that aren't typical of what you see on TV. I just need to say, every time there is a doctor in here, I have a pain in my arm right now. <laughs> I am telling you, because I, I just hearing all about it, and it is so good to always talk about it. But I'm telling you, I'm a hypochondriac. But go ahead. I'm so sorry. Maybe the doctor should check you out before he <laughs> leaves since I'm you're okay, having pain doctor. going down the okay. arm there. But, uh, I mean, it's just like, oh, my goodness. Now, you know, doctor, when we hear uh, diet and exercise are important to maintain a healthy heart, what are some, if we could talk about it while we're having a little morning coffee chat here, what are some simple things that listeners can do to make a healthy change today that they could even start? Yeah. Simple things like maintaining a lean body weight participating in at least 20 to 30 minutes a day of mild to moderate aerobic exercise. If you're someone who likes data, I do believe in the step counting and trying to reach that 10,000 steps a day, mm. taking stairs, uh, trying to get up every hour while you're at work, anything to just increase your activity, and of course, trying to eat a healthy life. Do you find that the uh, advent of modern technology now, you know, we've all got our smartphones, our smart watches. I've got the, you know, the watch on. They track my every move. They know how many flights of stairs I went on. They know how many steps I take. I track it each day. You feel that this is a positive so people can kind of be reminded of how they're actually doing. Yeah, I don't think it's for everybody, but some people really do respond to the data and augment their life based upon the data rather than just observing it. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those kind of people, then uh, I would definitely encourage it. I saw my wife one day. She was getting close to 10,000 steps, and she literally was walking around the living room in circles. Oh, sure. Just because she was at right. like 9,980 <laughs> steps, and she just kept going around in circles until she great. got there. Uh, heart health, we're, we're talking, by the way, with Dr. Matthew Sabolt from Hackensack Meridian Health. Uh, heart health starts at home. What are some tips to get everyone in the household on board with eating more nutritional foods and meals to get heart healthy as well, we finish up? I think it's very important to uh, augment your diet based upon the diseases you have. So if you, for instance, have high blood pressure or if you have diabetes, they're very specific dietary changes you can make that will improve your blood pressure, or improve your sugar control. Mm -hmm. If you've got high cholesterol or if you have uh, heart disease or prior heart attacks, there's certain diet changes that we'll recommend to mitigate future risk. And then over your life, things that are simple that I believe in are you know, converting to whole grain foods, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, trying to avoid uh, fatty foods and red meats. Mm -hmm. These are all things that can have a big impact on your, your cardiovascular health. How can we get more information if we want to find out about heart health with Hackensack Meridian? One place to start, and I encourage uh, your listeners, is hackensackmeridianhealth.org slash HMH has a heart. That is a useful website for uh, at least learning about some initial treatment strategies and connecting with providers in your area. Very nice. Very good. Well, nice. Dr. Matthew Sabol, we're going to wrap things up here with you today so you can take Sue out into the uh, lobby <sighs> there and check on that arm pain that she's got. Because that's <laughs> nothing to laugh about, Don't Sue. If, laugh. You, if yeah, you seriously I mean, were having... I'm okay. I'm all right. All right, you brought That's it up. I I'm know, trying to look out for you. Don't you like get pains like when doctors are talking to you? No, not usually. Even like when I'm at my heart doctor no. or something. I swear my heart races more no. when I'm there no. than it does normally. And the doctor says, well, that is normal when you're at a doctor. I don't know. I'm just, that's just what I do. 
I'm fine, though. I'll be all right. Doctor, thank you so much thank for you coming much, guys. today. Oh, if you're with us, check out hackensackmeridianhealth.org. HMH has heart for more details. And keeping you healthy during National Heart Month with WOBM.